Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Approximately 11 a.m. in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York City. It is Thursday, the 9th day of August 2012, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Slow but steady, I should say. We have seen yet another day of the market creeping up slowly, currently trading up about $5 on the day, 1617 current print. It has had a low of 1608 and gold's high has been 161950. Silver also showing a nice move to the upside, currently up about 13 to 15 cents higher, just above $28 per ounce at 2813. That is our current print, high 2835 and the low 2781. There can be no doubt there has been an abundance an abundance of reports surfacing that signal a continuation with the economic slowdown that we are experiencing globally, not only in Europe and the United States, but also in China, as China produces goods for so large a part of the world. But for the most part, the dollar itself has been the guiding factor of gold prices. We are looking at a weekly chart. It is in Henkin Ashi format. And we're simply going to look at different levels right now in which we feel there will be support as well as resistance. According to many analysts right now, the key area that people are really watching are these most current lows that we got back in June right in here. Put a horizontal line across. You can see that we're still quite a ways away from that. In terms of the resistance area, we have already identified really 84 as a very significant area. But we are still in a current downtrend on the weekly charts as we look at them through the eyes of a Henkin chart. Now, all I have done is converted our weekly chart into a daily chart, give us a little bit more information, and I can move this horizontal line up a little bit. But as you can see, the area of about 81.40 8130 is an area that many analysts out there are looking at as a critical area of support, whether or not it holds. The other area, of course, are these recent lows here at around 81.62. The reason for looking at the dollar very closely is as we get rallies, what is important to me is to see are these rallies being caused by a change in dollar value, strength or weakness, or buying of gold. Now, today, for example, we are up about 4 to $5. In actual gold price change, we are up almost $9 on the day with $4.80 being taken away because of the predominant strength of the U.S. dollar today. We're looking at a daily chart cash market and the one critical key area that we really need to keep in mind is going to be the series of tops that we have seen in this market as it traded roughly, roughly at 1630. As you can see, we're currently trading 1615, 1617, 19 being the high. My question that I need to ask not only myself, but traders at large is how do we think this market will react when it hits this top again? Will it be able to breach through and move up? Now, add to that the fact that we are currently in this triangle correction. So that as we get closer to the apex of it, this particular resistance level will come closer to the actual point in which this triangle resistance line is coming to. In other words, it meets right in here. So my question is, will we see this market trade up, hit this, move down one more time, and then get our final thrust up? That would complete the entire five legs of an Elliott Wave sequence. Something worth noting. We are looking at a silver chart, continuous contract off the COMEX. The bar size is 420 minutes. My sentiment right now on silver is that as we approach a couple of different resistance areas, primarily 
28.35 right in this area. You can see these series of tops right here. My question is, will it be able to breach through this area or will it continue to trade in a range? My sentiment is, as this summer progresses and the volume and liquidity has really slowed down in the market, I would expect resistance at about 28.30 to 28.20. Those are the recent areas that we have seen this market trade at today. It still needs to take out 28.40 for me to feel as though the market has genuinely ended the correction that we have seen. But for the short term, we've seen quite a nice move in silver as we've watched it move from, call it 27, to about 28, a nice dollar move in silver. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap up. Bye-bye.